Hello, this is Bryn McCauley. I am the voice, I was the voice of Caillou on Caillou on the first season. I am the voice of Amy and Sammy on Total Drama Island. I'm the voice of Taylor on Redonkulous Race. I'm the voice of Susie on Camp Lake Bottom. I am the voice of Mavis on Hotel Transylvania. And I do many other voices as well. And you, my friends, are watching the awesome Joe Zito's Da Boys podcast. Like, comment, and subscribe. obviously, and B, I'm pretty much the best at everything I do, so unless my mom messes things up, we're totally gonna win this race. McGee! I should've known. Ew! What? You covered my camp in snot? What scares me? Pfft, come on. What kind of question is that? A better question is, who's afraid of this vampire? Answer, everybody! <laughs> Ooh, look at that beautiful sunrise. Afraid of this flashlight? Answer, Mavis. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Boys Podcast. My guest today is a voice actress and actress. You may have heard her voices: Caillou and Caillou, Harriet Turtle and Franklin, Sammy, Amy, and Taylor in the Total Drama series, Susie in Camp Lake Bottom, Mavis in Hotel Transylvania, Hotel Transylvania the series, and many more. So, welcome, Miss Bryn McCauley. Welcome, Bryn. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Oh, it's, a, it's an honor having you on, Brent. It's an, honor. it's an honor to be in the company of your guests. You have you. had some extraordinary guests, and you yourself are a prolific interviewer. Thank you. I really appreciate that, Brent. Now, uh, Brent, what have you been up to? How's Brent doing? How are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Things are good, you know? I think... I think in this in the U.S., you guys had maybe not as intense of lockdowns as we had. We had really, really long lockdowns, one of the longest in the world in the province where I live. So it's really nice to have life back. And that's I'm just feeling really grateful for that. Oh, that's cra- it's crazy. Like the lockdown. I'm assuming you're in Toronto. Cause that's a lot, well, a lot of the I am in Toronto. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, we had a never-ending lockdown, so it's really nice to hug people again. Nice. Yeah, because it, it was crazy, this whole quarantine. Like, believe it or not, in 2020, I actually graduated virtually high school. Oh, wow. That's really hard. I'm so sorry. Oh, that happens. You know, but it was crazy. Like, I wanted to be there, if that makes sense. Of but course. Be, they just showed up. All they did was, like, you know, do you remember picture day at school? I I have a sister who I think is your age because I also watched her video graduation and it was the exact same thing. It was just all of her classmates picture day pictures Mm -hmm. and she would tell us a bit about each classmate (laughs) and then that's how you graduated. It's like I I, I walk on the stage. I I wanted to be there. Of course you wanted to be there. It's a very important moment. Damn 2020, 2021, you know, all these years, you know. Yeah, it's a vortex. It just got sucked away. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, what made you want to become a voice actress and actress? And who would you say is your biggest inspiration for voice acting and acting? What you say? Right. Oh my gosh, that's a huge question. Um, I started voice acting when I was seven years old. So I was seven when I got the part of Caillou. And I don't think I had a lot of premeditation about it. I don't think I was like, you know, mom, I want to be an actor. I think it was, it just, it happened pretty fast. Hmm. I think it was more what made me decide to s- remain an actor <laughs> because being an actor is like really good. And then it's really hard. And then it's really good. And then it's really hard. Um, but it's the lot you just I just love it. I love the feeling of headphones in my ears. I love voice qualities. I love my fellow actors. Um, and I think it's kind of magical that we get to pretend to be slugs and skunks and snails and vampires for a living. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And as for the people who inspire me, many of your guests, Bowza, incredible. Rob Paulson, incredible. Um, maybe you've tried to interview Tara Strong. I don't know, but she's she's on another level. I really admire her. The main reason I started these was in 2020 to help spread positivity during this tough time you know, the pandemic. It's like tough and depressing for people. I'll cheer people up. That's my goal. Well, mission accomplished. You're cheer me up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Because I, I love making people happy, you know? Like, I don't, I don't get why people are so mean to each other. They should all be nice. That's- I know. I know. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> Write a book. Do a TED Talk. I'll attend. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, this might be tough. What's your favorite voice acting role you've done? Can you can do the voice of your favorite character. Mm, my favorite, I think, is Lainey from Garage Band. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that show, I don't know if everybody knows it. It was it only had one season, and it was the writing. I just loved the writing. I thought it was so clever. And there was a song in every episode, which also absolutely lit me up. And it was a true pleasure to sing as Lainey with Lion Smith, who played Corey. And I also learned a lot from the voice actors on that show, because I think I was like 20 or 21 when I did it. And I was I was watching the other actors and they were so physical in the booth. And I was like, hmm, this really changes the performance. Then you watch, you know, Robin Williams and other people. Well, Robin Williams in the booth. He's so physical. He's so expressive. And in animation, I think you really need that physicality. So I learned some big lessons on that show, too. Can you do the voice of her if you want? Oh, God, Lainey's like, uh, chords, the show starts in 30 minutes, and we don't even have lyrics yet. That was a little off. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, and if you, if you don't mind, too, like, if I ask you, like, a couple of characters, we could do some of their, if it's possible, can you do some of their voices? It's possible. If Maybe, depending on how far back in the, in the, in the time span they are. And the, this is, like, a little time capsule. Back in the day. I can't do Caillou anymore, so I hope you don't ask me to do that because I you was seven years old. It, it, you kind of some of your voices actually sounds like Caillou still. Like, some of your, like you can't do Caillou. Some of them do not really, not well. Like you know, I was a I was a kid, so your voice quality kind of changes. The pitch, I think the pitch of it. Or... It's pitch, but it's also like the way kids pronounce words. It's not. True. It's, it's really hard to imitate the way. A, you know, a genuine child sound. <laughs> I understand, because I remember when I had, you know, when you know, Nico Bonson went, when I had her on, she said it was tough doing skunk because she hasn't done, you know, skunk from Franklin because it has been, like, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I practice in advance, but no, it's been, it's been a long time. Okay, can you do uh, Sammy, Amy, and Taylor from Joel Jama? Oh gosh, Joe, I uh, wasn't ready for this. Um, I'm sorry. sorry for... Amy, I need a line. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I do could. It. I could play a demo if that helps. You want me to play like a voice record, as they say? I think that's what they told me. I think but... I'll just let everyone down if I do that. So maybe I can make you a video later and you can post it because I was not ready. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Are you, do you remember Susie or Mavis at all? Susie, yeah. Susie is like, hello, McGee. What does she say? Do you take my hairbrush? Something like that. Nice. I like that. And then McGee's Scott McCord, you know, talented yes, Scott. Yes, exactly. And then Mavis, if it's possible. Sorry to ask for an answer. Uh, Mavis is like, Dad, you said that when I turned 118, I could go to the world just like everyone else that gets to come and go from this hotel. Whoa, that's really, <laughs> you do, it's really cool how you can do all these voices. Like, in my opinion, like voice acting is like a very awesome talent to have. You know what I mean? It is. It's a really uh, the people who are good are pretty in- incredible, pretty wide range. Now, if you are my, can you tell me like, can you walk me through a, the audition process? Like, how did you get the role of Caillou? If, if you remember when you're, <laughs> I do remember the role of Caillou because it was my first cartoon audition that I had ever done. And I was living in Ottawa at the time, and the audition was in Montreal, which is a two-hour drive away. And I actually went with another family of kids who were auditioning. And I was supposed to audition for Rosie, Caillou's baby sister. 
And when I got there, they gave me the script for Caillou and they asked me to read that one too. And I thought it was really weird because Caillou's a boy. And I was like, I'm a girl. That's weird. Um, and then I somehow got the job. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It was my very first cartoon audition. And obviously it was my first uh, booked series. But it was a great experience. like that. Now, can you walk me through audition, uh, ugh, sorry, audition process? How did you get the roles of Sammy, Amy, and Taylor? Yeah, actually, Amy and Sammy is kind of a similar story. I auditioned for Ella. I had prepared for Ella, and I had written my own song, because she's like a, sing a singer. And the song was very silly. It was actually, I made up a song about how everyone in Toronto had been on Total Drama except me. And I was mad about it. And they thought that was funny, thankfully. Um, and then they said, in the room, they said, hey, can you read for Amy and Sammy instead of, El uh, instead of Ella? So I also, that was a cold read. That was just, they gave me the script. I didn't prepare. It was just a, like an instinctive read. So that was very lucky. Um, and then Taylor, I definitely yeah, prepared a lot for. And there were no surprises on that one. There were it wasn't like, hey, try something else. It was just I think I really that was the that was kind of like the heyday of Kim Kardashian and Paris Hilton and mm. she was like a conflation of those very entitled caricatures that were really hot at the time. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Your, your regular sounding voice sounds a little bit like Sammy and Amy. Though. It I, does. No, it, does. it wasn't too bad. As I told you, it was the cold read. <laughs> it was pretty close to my natural my natural sound, for sure. Well, and I, I don't know if you, like, did you, like, I heard from the people that were in Pocket Island, you know, that the season Sammy and Amy were in, they saw, like, a picture of the character. Did you, like, see a picture of your I did, character? yes. That was extremely helpful for me, for sure. That made a huge... Did I see them then? Yes, yeah, yeah. We saw them at the audition, yeah. <laughs> Nice. And I don't know if you also know Ella is played by Sunday Muse. I don't know if you've ever worked with Sunday before. I have worked with Sunday a whole bunch, and I really, really admire her. She is an artist through and through. She's very, very talented, and she has a beautiful voice. Favorite total drama character other than Sammy, Amy, and Taylor? Other than that? Oh, gosh. I like Jasmine. Okay. I like Sky. Okay. Hmm... Yeah, I think those two. Jasmine's got, Jasmine's played by Katie Bergen, I think, and then Skies by Sarah Podom Podomsky. So Look at I, you! You're sorry. an encyclopedia. Sorry. If you like ask like who voices this character, I'm like, got you. I'm, I'm crazy like that. Like I said, I don't know, I'm like a total drama super fan. I think in a way, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, you're very knowledgeable. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, uh, favorite total drama character you voiced. Three you voiced. Who's your you know, I honestly love Sammy. I feel so sad for her. Sure. Um, but she <laughs> she was fun to do because I think I played a lot of bossy girls for a while, playing Susie and Amy and Taylor. And then Sammy was like, you know, a little bit more meek. But she got a lot of the funny lines. So I really I did love playing Sammy. I feel like you said. I feel bad for like Amy kept being so mean. Know, she's so mean. She's so mean. So now, would you like? I don't know if you see in the collage. Would you do the same thing that Sammy did to Amy in this scene? Do you remember that scene? Where she is these? I can't see what she's doing. She was like eating something she was allergic to, and then she pretended that she <laughs> that she actually was Sammy, but she got her voted out, and she was pretending she was Amy the whole time. I'll, you don't know remember that at all. I can't remember that. What a move. What a what a checkmate! That's a move. It's not very sisterly, though. But I would I kind of do it too, because like if she was being mean to me too, like, I'd be like, I can't take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. Got to teach her a lesson. Now, uh, I don't know if you heard about the two new seasons of Total Drama at all, Brent. Did you hear about those? I no, I've heard. Oh, uh, I don't think I'm allowed to say anything about whether I've heard anything. I don't okay. know. Because uh, uh, okay. Because a lot, because Brian Froud, you know the one that plays Harold and Sam. I don't know if you've heard of him before. Mm -hmm. He told he. I asked him about that. He winked. So. Yeah, sure. That's it. That's that's the answer. 
Because that because I can't wait till the two new seasons come out. That'd be cool to see the two new seasons. You know what I mean? No comment. No comment. Okay. I'm not gonna say anything, but okay, okay. No. <laughs> now, if you were really on an island, what three famous people, dead or alive, would you bring with you on your own? Oh, I think. Okay, I'm a huge Kendrick Lamar fan, so I would love to meet him. I would definitely love to meet him, dead or alive. So bring him on the podcast. So Brent can meet him. Sure. <laughs> sure. Don't, yes. don't don't play games with me. I could I could try to make it happen. If it happens, <laughs> I'll invite you right away, Brent. Would you be down? <laughs> yeah, but this would be me the whole time. <laughs> like I wouldn't be able to talk. Or I'd just start crying. I'd just be like, thank you for your work. <laughs> I, I, I like making people happy. Like, I, I like surprising people. Like, I don't know if you're... Heard, have you heard the Mighty Ducks movies before? Uh, yeah, I've heard of them for sure. Well, the guy that plays Kenny Wu in the movie, he wanted me his favorite hockey player of all time. Made it happen on the podcast. Made it happen. <laughs> so <laughs> I could try making it happen. We're in. I could try. <laughs> Joe, you know what? I think you've got the magic. Some people have just got the magic, and you must be one of those people. I got you. Like I, like I said, like I make, love, love making people happy, so if that makes you happy, meeting Kendrick Lamar. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy would be an understatement. I'd be walking on clouds. You'd be like, uh, uh, uh. It's like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'd be, a, I'd be a mess. I'd be a mess. Any other uh, people? No, oh, so yes. Uh, who else would I want to be on an island? Wait, I'm to meet... Well, see, this is a tricky one, because you're, like, on the island with them. You think you kind of want them to be nice people. True. Who else do I want to meet? Oh, Besides my Besides your boyfriend, Kendrick? Besides my boyfriend, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. I would like to meet... I would like to meet Michelle Obama. Mm-hmm. I think that would be amazing. And I would like to meet Ruth Bader Ginsburg if we're going to all choose Americans, but she's dead. She's passed, but... Uh, you can still choose people who passed away. Yeah, that's what you said, right? So mm-hmm. those are my very American answers to your question. Nice. And any, any, <laughs> any by all, too, if I could give you one more choice, you need Oh, more. I get more. I get if, you, more. If, you, if you want more, bring more people. I have a party on that. <laughs> who do I think would be really fun? People who are, like, really fun. Who, oh, Paul Rudd would be fun. Oh, I don't know if you saw a couple of weeks ago. He did like a touching story where he did to like a little kid. Did you see that story? No. He did a couple, like it was a week or two ago. This little kid that was getting bullied in school, he actually yeah. surprised him. Like, no one wanted to sign the little kid's yearbook. He sent the kid a signed <laughs> Ant Man helmet. And he also video called the kid. It was so touching. I'm sorry, I get touched. <laughs> those stories. That's so sweet. <laughs> So yeah, when you ask him at him too, though. Oh wow, this is turning into a real party. Sorry, sorry. Bro. Gosh, who do I want to meet? I like thinking. I'm trying to think of smart answers. But, like Rob Paul, actually... Eric Bowser. Would you want me? To... You could have those for free. Those come free. Okay, great. Yeah, th- th- invite them all. Open, open invitation. Everyone who you've interviewed. That was Every... interesting. <laughs> yeah. Any, anyway, that's like 150 people though. Would you really want me? Yeah, great. More the merrier. True. <laughs> or you know what else I've interviewed you might know though, Brent. Have you ever seen the show New Girl? Do you know that show? At all? Yeah, like Zoe Deschanel. Not her, but oh. I, I, she's the main character. But I interview her. That'd be cool. I interviewed the guy that played Schmidt. You know that character? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. He's funny. Twice. I've interviewed him twice. Whoa! Excuse me. <laughs> super cool guy. Super hilarious. Me and him have like a little inside joke. He actually. Do you know the actor Topher Grace? Yeah, um, for sure I do. I because t- he asked me, "Who's your favorite actor, Joe?" Besides me, of course. You know, like, uh, maybe like Topher Grace. He likes to tease me like that, saying that Joe's favorite actor is Topher. Like, he likes to tease me with it. So. <laughs> well, inside joke with me and Max, aka the guy played Schmidt. So it is a funny choice for Topher Grace to be your favorite actor. But you know what? He does what he does very well. He's yeah. very good on that '70s show. He's he's funny. Well, well, I got my favorite voice actors now, so. Cross her off the list. Bryn McCauley, <laughs> I crossed her off the list. No. I don't know what I did to deserve that honor. That's very nice. You're very welcome. I mean, I really love most of my friends. Can they come? Sure. Have most a party. of my friends. Here I say that. Most of my friends. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Who am I excluding? Um, yeah, my buddies. I love my buddies. Nice. It'd be a cool. Uh, that'd be a cool island. You could have like a little party, a little jam sesh. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone needs a break, and and everyone needs a party after two years of being alone. So true. And then Paul Rudd would get drunk, like we said. <laughs> yeah, he'd show up drunk. Be like, Paul, you're ahead of us. He's already. <laughs> he's, he brought the party, but you know. Yeah, I mean, who's going to bring a party? You better count on Paul Rudd to bring a party. True. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, is there a role you would love to do that you haven't done, but you would love to do it? Like a superhero or Western? Or is there a role you would um, love to do? There's a play by George Bernard Shaw called St. Joan, and I'm too old to play Joan now, but that's a juicy role. That's a very juicy role. She's She is believe she's channeling god and she believes that she's been called to lead the french army but she's a 15 year old girl in i think the 17th or 18th century so everyone thinks she's crazy but really she's kind of a messiah so it's a great role you don't think you could pull off a 15 year old on stage maybe on stage yeah maybe on stage if i know how old you were like based on knowledge of google i would think you're like 20 I'm being honest, bro. So. Joe, that's very nice. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah. <laughs> now, now uh, over the years of your career, do you still keep in touch with co-stars and directors you work with? Do you still keep in touch with people? Definitely, yes. Um, uh, co- uh, sorry, directors, definitely, because a lot of them are friends with my mom. So I'm really lucky. My mom is an animation producer. And so she has close friendships because producers and directors have to work closely together. Mm -hmm. So the voice director of Garage Band, Merlin Ridley, she also did, uh, she also did Redonkulous Race, actually. Um, And the voice director of Total Drama was also the voice director of Caillou. So I've known Deborah Toffin for a long time. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah, the voice directors for sure. Actors, it's more like we come and go out of one another's paths if we're if we're working together. Nice. Yeah. Now, um, do you keep in touch with the people from Caillou then? <laughs> well, Deborah Toffin, yeah, that 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 vo- that voice director, yes. But everyone else, like they were adults and I was a kid, so. It was kind of True. like we weren't forming the same kind of friendships, you know. Now, I think your mom, too, like you mentioned, is it her, Marilyn, I think her name is? Her? Marilyn McCauley, yeah. Sorry. So I know like a lot because, you, like I say, you're my favorite voice actress, so that's why I know a lot. So I'm sorry. That sounds crazy. No, that's lovely. My mom is an incredible and accomplished person. She has been producing and casting and voice directing for 25 years. She has a lot of awards, and she's just, yeah, she's an extraordinary person and a great storyteller. So you get that from your mom, the two legends? Uh, Well, my mom has really inspired my work ethic. My mom is extremely hardworking, very persistent, really puts her head down and gets the job done. And And she's, I'm assuming, very nice like her daughter? She's a wonderful person, and actors love working with her because... She's gentle, you know, she's gentle. She's considerate of the vulnerability of being an actor. Um, And she really puts story first, which I think not every director does. So that's one of her, that's one of her greatest strengths. I like that. I like that a lot, Paul. Now, what, now, if you could choose, who would you say is the coolest person you have worked with, Brent? Coolest. The coolest person I've worked with? Oh, man. My friend, Julie Sipe. She's on, um, she was on Top Wing with me. I think she's the coolest person I know. She's on Amigo Knots. She's on Corn and Peg. She is on a series that you're going to be, nope, I can't say anything. She's on, you I know know her. I think I, I think I you're talking about Mocha saying like, okay. I think I think my friend Julie Sipe is the coolest person I've worked with. Like that. I'm, I'm assuming too. Maybe you could, if you want to, add him to. I think he's cool. My opinion, Scott McCord. 
He's really oh, cool. I love Scott. Of course, Scott's amazing. He's a, he's a very nice guy. Like when was my birth? Because my birthday's on December twenty sixth, the day after Christmas. Oh yeah. Uh, IK Boxing Day in Canada. <laughs> when it was my birth, when when it was my birthday, he actually believe it because he actually called me up and said he actually like left me a voicemail. Which is very what nice. a sweetheart. He's so considerate. Mm-hmm. Like, he's like, in my opinion, like one of the nicest people I've ever met. My opinion, bro. So. He is. He's genuinely. C- interested and invested in in the people around him yes 100 yeah. percent. off you also i also like recommend his tv show like did you see his new show he's in from if you heard of no that? i haven't seen that he's like it's like a live action show it's like almost have you seen the show lost before yes it's almost like that it okay the, like you know, Scott's you're amazing because he decided to move to new york city like eight seven years ago and it's been very good for him. So that's fantastic to hear that. I, I highly recommend it. Like, believe it or not, it's actually filmed in Canada. It's filmed in Nova Scotia, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Look that's at really you sh- throwing Canadian provinces around. Nova Scotia. <laughs> I've all, that's actually, believe, no offense to America. You, can, I love Canada. It's my favorite country. Sorry. Have you been here? I want, I want to. My favorite show is there. My favorite hockey team. Everything's there. Your favorite hockey team. The Vancouver Canucks. Look at you. <laughs> so, I got to visit one day. That'd be cool. So. You do have to visit, but you have to choose the city because you know this country is enormous, just like your country. And it's like, yeah. what are you going to do? Are you going to do West Coast? Are you going to do Toronto? You're probably not going to do East Coast. That'd be weird. Um, but what? where would you want to Where would you want to visit? Maybe Vancouver. Maybe, maybe if I visit Toronto, I could say, hi. Hey, what's up, Brent? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm hanging out. That'd be cool. Like, you know what I mean? I don't, like, also, there's two, like, poutine. Is that a thing in Canada? I think it is. Poutine. Or? Yes, there is. Yeah. Sorry. I know you a lot get, of Canada. So. You can get that anywhere. I mean, anywhere in Canada. My, I actually, like, I tried it once, poutine. My mom, like, made, like, based on the recipe she sees online, it's really good. So that's why I know a lot of Canada. It's junky, junky, junk. It's very filling. It is. Uh, see, I have visit that. I gotta go to Canada. I, I, yeah. BC, Vancouver is really beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. People aren't like extremely friendly, but they're not extremely friendly in Toronto either. But I feel like you don't have a problem with that. I feel like you'll just like break down people's defenses and get them to be nice to you because you're so charming. I think it'd be fine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I make <laughs> I make everybody in Canada nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's weird. We have a reputation for being nice, but most people are like. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I, I always hear, like, Canadians always say sorry a lot. That's why I hear that true. Yeah, like, that's that's true. We do. Yeah, but we say sorry. You guys say sorry. It's, it's uh, that's crazy, like, the, the, how you say sorry. Like, it is crazy. Like, how is that even possible? Any, any idea? Or? Well, it's just regional accents. I mean, um, it's really funny, though, because as voice actors, mm-hmm. we are trained to sound American. Mm-hmm. So you'll get what's called a pickup and have to do your line again if you say sorry. And they'll be like, what? Can, you, can I get a sorry, please? And you have to do it with words like out and house, too, because they want you to say out and house. Yeah, I think you guys get that out. I can't do it. That out. You got it perfect. Sorry. I, I, I would love to go to Canada. That's like my dream. That's like on my bucket list of places to visit. Canada. I need to visit Canada. Yeah, get over here. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll teleport. Just imagine that. <laughs> you and the cheeseburger. Let's go. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> now, uh, <clears throat> what director taught you the most? Is there one you want to work with? Do you have a work with it, but you want to work with? Brent? Oh, what director taught me the most? Hmm, that's so hard. I wish I had a D Shipley. Mm. I feel I don't want anyone to watch this because I've learned a lot from all of them. Um, but I loved working with Dee Shipley on Hotel Transylvania. That show was so playful. We were always all together. Me and Joe Motiki, Ebony Rosen, and Gage Monroe. So mm. the people who played um, Wendy, Hank, and Pedro. We were always together. And Dee just has such a sense of play and silliness about her 
and and in how she approaches the work and she's deeply creative um so i yeah i think i've learned a lot from d just in letting go trusting my instincts and it's really just about being silly and she's really good at that that's awesome like and you mentioned miss rosen she's awesome yes. she's her and that joe i can't pronounce his last name i'm gonna butcher M- M- joe M- motiki motiki okay yeah. so i don't want to butcher his last name both were actually in total drama redon close race too yeah they were yeah they were is there a director you want to work with do you haven't worked with yet you know i <laughs> are you a director i want to become a director i, oh, want, nice. to be, I want to become a director you but want to like, become a what kind of director to direct what medium Maybe like TV shows, movies, animates, anything, really. Everything. Yeah. Because I love to like write scripts as a hobby, believe it or not. So. so what kind of scripts do you write? Action, adventure, mystery, time, a whole bunch of variety. When do you sleep? You're so, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, believe it or not, I try to write like at least tw- 10 to 20 pages a day. I try to do. I it sounds crazy. I and you have that. discipline. That's really impressive. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I'm making you tired. Sorry. No, it's not you. I have a very intense job, that's all. <laughs> all good. Now, <you're> saying. <laughs> now uh, would you want to work with Joe, though, before I ask you the next question? <laughs> would you oh, with- yes, I'd love to work with you. Thank you. That'd be cool. Like, I could, like, you could be, like, the lead in the new show. Cool. Yeah, hit me up. Actors never say no to work. I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> now, if, if you didn't go into, like, voice acting or acting, what do you think you would have done as a career? And what other interesting hobbies besides acting and voice acting? Uh, well, I currently work for a refugee and immigration law firm. Wow. So I'm very, very interested in what's called forced migration, like when people have to leave their homes because of, because of war or because of their identity, because they're being targeted because of who they are. So that's something that I've that I've been passionate about for a long time. Um, what other things do I find interesting? Honestly, like I really like interior design and making places beautiful. I'm not good at it, but I really like it. <laughs> uh, I also really enjoy cooking, but I don't know if I could do that. No, maybe. I don't know. Professional chefs, though, are a bit a bit nuts. So I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty high stakes. So, Chef Bryn? Chef Bryn. Yeah, sure. Come on into my kitchen. I might burn your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm a, do you have a dog or cat? Cause I see you just doing Sorry. No, I'm just... I don't. I wish oh. I did. Sorry. I, I was like wondering because like, you were like doing this. That's why I was asking. Sorry, Bryn. Oh, Sorry. yeah. No, I don't. I wish I, I wish I did. I love it. I grew up with dogs, but I don't have one now. Nice. Now, favorite band and type of music? Favorite band or artist and type of music? music? Oh, yeah, that's too hard. Your boyfriend, Kendrick? I love Kendrick. Yeah, I absolutely love him. Is hip hop my favorite kind of music? It, no, I don't know. I don't, it sometimes is. I think it changes. I love jazz. I love music theater. I love, um, like, jazz standards. I think my favorite female voice is judy garland um and i think my favorite male voice this is like very old school but is nat king cole got a beautiful beautiful voice wow yeah awesome i I, I actually might shock you with the kind of music i'd like tonight but what do you like okay if you could if you could if you if based on the if you could choose what do you think i like if you like guess folk no pop oh i i was i was trying to tell you the band oh the, oh, oh, oh no you tell oh. me you tell me the band okay the this band they sing a variety of genres jazz rock classic rock everything 70s 80s and 90s and i have no idea lead singer sadly passed in the 90s this helps nope i don't know help me out okay uh their most known song is we are the champions or we will rock you oh queen got it <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, that's my yeah. favorite band. That's very you have great taste. Thank you. Like, Freddie Mercury like has like such a like unique and one of a kind voice, if that makes sense. He really does. And stage presence and persona and everything. Yes. 
So, I bet, did I shock you with that, though, I'm assuming? No, I think you have All good right. taste. Thank you. Appreciate that. Now, uh, favorite sports and teams to exports at all? The Raptors. Raptors. Toronto Raptors. So, basketball. Yeah. Do you like hockey at all, or? I do like hockey. I grew up watching hockey, but the Leafs are just so disappointing, so we can't. It's hard. It's hard to stay a hockey fan in Toronto. <laughs> Well, their best player off, you know, is Austin Matthews, if that helps. Definitely, yeah, definitely no Austin Matthews. See, I actually, believe it or not, also got to meet, do you know who Connor McDavid is? I Oilers? do, yes. I actually got to meet him. I actually got a selfie with him, which is it was really cool. That's wild. So, I'm a, I'm a big hockey fan, so if I geek yeah, out I hockey. I Mr. Canucks. <laughs> I, I actually have a crazy story with that, if you want to know why I'm a Canucks fan, if that helps. Yeah, tell me why. Okay, so I was two or three. I got a hockey stick from their captain at the time, Marcus mm-hmm. Nasland. After like their practice, he said, "Hey, do you want this, buddy?" Gave it to me. Ever since that day, that's Come it. Up. Die hard from age three. Yes, crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. That's a great story. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, uh, what is your favorite food? What's Brent's favorite food? Chicken. 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 So, yeah, chicken and burgers? Do you like burgers? I do like burgers. I won't say they're a favorite, but I, yeah, I'm a chicken addict. Chicken addict. So, if I teleport the chicken, then I'll teleport chicken, yeah, burgers, please, and Kendrick please, Lamar. Please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's a great evening. <laughs> I got you. And he'll sing to you, too? I got you. Yeah. I mean, he can have the night off. That's fine. We can just chat. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> now, uh, are there any projects you have in the works? Any projects? Yes. I don't know if I... God, I'm so bad. You're like, did you sign an N? Do you know what an NDA is? It's a non-disclosure, non-disclosure. agreement. Yeah, but Sorry. I actually haven't for this show. But I'm working on a new series. I play a chick, a little fluffy chick named Bitsy. And she's adorable. And that's that's all I will say for now. But I'm it's really cute. So that's... And you also have told drama... Oh. I didn't I say anything about that. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm going crazy, you said? I <laughs> think maybe, yeah, sorry. <laughs> now, what advice would you give younger people that want to become a voice actress an actor with, or actress? What's your advice? What is your advice? I think my biggest advice is that it is actually a job. I think people treat it like a hobby. Um, but it's so it's so competitive, Joe. Like, especially now in the pandemic, you're auditioning against 300 people at least. So you need to be really good. And the only way to get really good is to practice. Um, so watch cartoons, imitate your favorite actors, and trust your instincts. That's my advice. So I like to like, I like, stay humble. Remember where you came from? That's what I like to say, too. Dad. That's, that's, that's good, too. When you get really high on yourself, you're not doing anybody any favors. I, I don't get why people like, think they're all that. I mean, like, they should all be nice. Like, sorry. That sounds cheesy. I, that sounds cheesy. No, I agree. I think people lose touch with reality because their world changes so much. You know, when you have a lot of money and people are coming up to you and being like, you're amazing. Like, you kind of... That's not most people's lives. So, I think, I think it's inevitable that some folks get... Hot, a little high on themselves. I was going to tell you before I ask you my next question. You know who you look like to me, Brent? Who do I look Natalie like? Portman. Oh! Have you been told that before? Uh, I've dreamed of looking like Natalie Portman. You but look that's just like Natalie Portman. That's extremely, extremely nice. She's incredibly beautiful. You look just like her to me. I don't know. You, I, you just get, you have me Natalie Portman vibes. I'm sorry. But you look that's just really like nice. She. She's definitely an idol of mine. Awesome. So if so I got much integrity. So if I got her in the podcast, it'd be like the twins. Oh like yeah. Twins. Oh yeah. She can come. She can. She can move in my apartment. She can do anything she wants. <laughs> she. She's awesome. She's been in a lot of things. She's pa- Padme and Star. I don't feel like Star Wars. Padme and Star Wars. Yeah. She's Mighty Thor and Thor. Yeah. She also does small movies that are not blockbusters. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's crazy what she's done. Like it's all, like so. I'm gonna get her for you. You get to meet your twin. You know. <laughs> That's so nice. That's so incredibly nice. 
Now, uh, would you be willing to come back on for part two, answer some fan submitted questions? Yes. Yes, I would be. I'm just a little bit busy. I'll let you know. Of course, I have I'll let you know. two jobs. But if we can find a time, yes, I would definitely do that. Awesome. Because I'm sure, like, once maybe this episode airs, people are like, oh my God, you have to interview us. Remember the people I told you that really wanted you? If they have questions for you. Yes. For, oh, so you would read their questions to me or we would be on with them? So basically, it would be like, for, like, for example, uh, I'm going to make up a username. Uh, Sammy and Amy Lover 22 or something asks, and then the question. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Oh, like it's live. Like they're asking questions live. Not like live, but I do like oh, a post like a week they beforehand. Say in advance. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, submit them and then yeah. I could send them to you that way if you want to be prepared if that helps. Yeah, then I can prepare my voices for you. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> You're all good. You know, and then before I ask my last question, Kai, uh, I had a couple people, it's like some of the fans, they actually had a couple of things. They, like I wrote them down if it's possible. Like least their her name is Lisa. This is their YouTube name, Lisa Queen Blink the Blink. She asks if you could wish her a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa! I hope that's your actual name. <laughs> happy birthday! Because <laughs> she was wondering if you could do that. The next, she said, if you could ask the next whole drama person you interview, so if it's Bryn, please tell her. If you- happy birthday, Lisa! I hope you have an amazing, wonderful day, and that you get cake or ice cream or whatever it is you want, or donuts or a bouncy castle or a pony. Thank you. <laughs> and now, uh, uh, sorry, I ask you a lot of things. Uh, K Woods and. Faction. I'm probably butchering. I'm sorry to who. If I'm butchering this username, I'm sorry. K Woods in Faction. If she could have Amy telling Sammy she's sorry for treating her bad- badly. I can <laughs> do that later. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not Eric Bowser. I'm just not. I'm too shy. <laughs> it happens. I understand. It happens because they, because they because uh, they, they also felt bad that Sammy was getting treated badly. Yeah, don't we all? It's terrible. And then Owlbot 300 and Ryan, the wildlife lover, said they really, really want to do the most. That's the, the two of the, the people. They said <laughs> they really want to do the most. I'm just telling you some of their names so that way you Thanks, know. Thanks, pals. That makes me feel really nice. Thank you. Brand, is there anything you would like to promote and shout out? Like, I'll link down oh, below. Oh, no. Sorry, I don't like doing that. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Read the news and... Be nice to your neighbors and your friends. That's all I want to say. So thank you again, Brent, for being an awesome, amazing guest. I had a fun time chatting with you. Thank you. I had a great time talking to you too, Joe. Thank you for having me on. Yeah. Have a great day, everybody, and stay awesome. And you stay awesome, Brent. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Joe.